بدي كون أول شخص بتفكري فيه بس طوعي الصبح تحكيني وأحكيكي دايما نشوف بعض وتنسيني العلاقات اللي كنت فيها من قبل وما استمرت إلا كم شهر نشتاق لبعض نضحك سوا نبكي سوا يكونوا نظراتنا لبعض مثل سحر ينقلنا لعالم تاني تدعميني بكل شي بعمله تكوني الشخص اللي كنت عم نبش عليه من زمان ولقيته تكوني فخورة فيه حس روحك مربوطة بروحي نبرم العالم سوا سهرات وظهرات بكل فخر تكوني مآمنة برسالتي وطموحاتي وتطلعاتي وتشتغلي تتساعديني تنحققهم سوا افتخر فيك قدام العالم وقل لهم هيدي الصبية اللي اخترتها من بين كل صبايا العالم لحد ما يجي يوم إذا حسيت أنك الشخص اللي بدي إياه يضل طول العمر حدي رح أعرفك عائلتي هيدي مواصفات فتاة أحلامي شادة Be patient and love will find you, my friend. I'm sure the right lady's out there waiting. Just go out there and find her and grab her with her consent, of course. Folks, welcome to episode 56 of Do Not Worry. I'm your host, Anthony. Coming to you once again from the heart of Beirut, in Jaitewe. Joined by my lovely interns, Elijah and Newell. Interns, how's it going? It's going fine. How are you? Going good. We got a juicy episode this week, folks. I feel a little uh, anxious. We haven't had done something like this in a long time. It's pretty dramatic, okay? Uh, you guys are wondering, Anthony, why is it so... Well, Tufiluk was a guest on the Unjaded podcast uh, last week. And he was asked about me. Does he know who I am? And he completely denied knowing who I am. Now, I found that very funny because I was under the impression that Tufiluk knew who I was. Very well, actually. You know, given that I've heard voice notes of him talking about me, messages. We're going to get into the evidence a little bit later today. But anyways, hey, Tufiluk, how's it going? Like this video, folks. Leave a comment. Your engagement. Hashtag engagement is very crucial for a small channel like this one. So we appreciate your help. Subscribe to the channel. Become a Do Not Warrior. Help us get to the 7,000 subscriber mark. Uh, folks, before we get going, let me just take a second to thank some lovely patrons without whom this show could not be possible, folks. And we got a, a bunch of brand new, beautiful blonde patrons this week, uh, like Karim Haber, Leonardo Sawaya, and Tar Tammo. Thank you so much for becoming blonde patrons and supporting the channel and a new superhero patron, Chris Habib, thank you guys so much. We love you from the bottom of our hearts. We couldn't do this without you. And if you guys would like to join our Patreon, support this channel financially. Make sure that I can pay my interns. Make sure that we can go do these vlogs. Help fund my Joseph Midhib documentary. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. It would mean the world to us. And we need your support. We can't do it without you. Other than the Tufiluk topic, which is going to take up the bulk of this episode, we're going to be talking, uh, we're going to correct a couple of mistakes we made last week in terms of politicians. Folks, we made some mistakes. We don't know this shit, okay? We don't know what the fuck we're talking about. You don't come here for political news, okay? We're going to correct those. We're going to address those things. Uh, King Rolodex is going through a little mini meltdown. He's acting like a petulant child ever since he lost the election. Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh... Tufiluk, obviously, there's a lot to talk about. Tufiluk also insulted the Lama, called him irrelevant and called him sad. So we're going we're gonna to talk about that. Folks, we have an exciting episode. But before we get going, there's a lot of reminders this week. Don't forget about the comic stash. Pick up your comics at the comic stash. We're selling Marvel comics, DC comics from the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. You buy a comic, you support your boy, you support this channel. This is a spawn issue right here with the first ever appearance of Angela. It's not for sale yet, but it's going to be eventually. Uh, so do that. Support the comic stash. It's in Multiverse Games and Hamra. Uh, that would be lovely. Uh, we got some fan art. I got some fan art. The interns, uh, not yet. That's coming. You guys are going to get some stuff soon, I promise. Uh, Ali Taiba did this lovely photo. I mean, I look, I look kind of frightening, but it's very... I guess I'm an ugly guy, you know what I mean? Look at, look at this. I love this. It's so it's fucking badass, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm flattered. Thank you so much. I love this stuff. So it's badass. We're going to have uh, Ali's uh, Instagram in the description. I think it's called Al Qaid Ali on Instagram. So thank you, sir, for this beautiful art. We appreciate you. Also, a quick update. We mentioned last week that we were going to be filming our first vlog. Uh, we went to Dream Park. We went there on Saturday. We, I put up some pictures on my Instagram and on Patreon. Uh, it was a good time. Noor is currently working on editing that video. When, when is it going to be ready? 
Um, we're gonna post it on Tuesday, so like Tuesday? these yeah, two so days, I should be like. Yeah. All right, awesome. So next Tuesday, you guys look out for that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. It was a, it was a fun day, fun day over at Dream Park. And the one, just one quick update before hopping into the first topics. Hungry G, we talked about Hungry G last week. He's a TikToker. He's on Instagram. He's a Saraha. Let's do this. So he reached out to me on Instagram just to like say hello. He like. He liked the fact that we talked about him, and he he sent me a fun little voice note that I just thought I wanted to share with you guys. Saraha, let's do this. Hell yeah. So we talked, and we're going to be doing a vlog together, baby. Sooner or later, look forward to that. We're going to be hanging out with Hungry G, and we're going to do it somewhere. Not not that. I came up with with a a, a gimmick, by the way, with a food gimmick. I'll tell you guys later, not on camera. I don't want nobody stealing it. So before we get going, our first, we just want to take a couple of seconds and correct a few, a few things that were maybe not accurate last week. So here's, I just took a few, scre- the amount of research we did to correct these mistakes might disappoint you guys. I just took screenshots of the comments and I'm going to read them. Okay. So for those who are disappointed with the amount of research, I don't know if you're going to feel much better about this. But anyways, Ahmed left a comment that said, more research needed on each political candidate before commentary. Many remarks were untrue or misled. Much love though. Ahmad, I have no doubt that many of the things we said were... I saw you in the comments blaming me for the research. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you I, fucking threw all the blame on me. I love blaming the interns. Anytime there's a problem, I'm like, oh, I guess I need to fire the interns. Uh, we got another comment from um, Tish, Tishiknam. Tishiknam? Anthony, I get you. Oh, I, he was some people were telling me that we were also not being accurate about Jad Ghassan and us saying that he's affiliate, not affiliated, that he's too forgiving or too easy ala Hezbollah. Here's a correction. I get you. It's just that many comments felt like they were based on electoral propaganda, like Jad being pro Hezb, which he actually cleared up. It's a more complicated answer, which was replaced by yes and thus feeds into the narrative his electoral competitors created. Is this accurate or not, bro? Like, my body. I don't fucking know. I'm just going to point it out that some people disagree. Uh, we have Tala Lakis, who's been watching the show, commenting for a long time. We love Tala. She says, Yassin Yassin is Jamea Islamiyyah, and he has a video of him saying he refuses any law that is not the Islamic law. Loki, and Yassin Yassin was the guy with the fist. I quite liked him. His picture, he had a good energy about him. Loki disappointed with the lack of research for this episode, especially talking about such an important topic as elections. Names like Cynthia Zarazir, and Yassin Yassin definitely need to have the light shed on, which we're doing now. Thank you, Tala, for the heads up. And Cynthia Zarazid, by the way, who we said looked, I said she looked very sweet. I'm so glad I said uh, a bad compliment on them. Yeah, he's, he, you said her hair looked bad. I said that she looked like she worked at like an NGO or something. I thought she looked very sweet. Turns out Cynthia Zarazid literally called for the genocide of the Syrian people at some point. By the point. way, she has a tattoo on Michelle Oun. Yes, and she has a Oun tattoo on her neck as well. So uh, we don't like you, Cynthia. Yassin, Yassin. Sorry, man, I, I liked you, but I guess we can't, I can't like you anymore. So I guess out of those the 13 people we got, like three of them are good. For them to, to join or whatever, and they must be doing something right. Like regardless, I'm not going to do anything. No, for example, for example, and Jad, we like Jad. Man, okay, but and Cynthia Kamen can't tell me. Maybe now she's not. If Jad Rusin had a tattoo of Aoun on his chest, I might think twice. And <laughs> he's not Aoun, but we have seen, we seen about if an Islamic state was us. I don't know. People change. Or just what's the fact? And they're, 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 they're like I don't want to linger on this too much. Honestly, I don't care. We just uh. we corrected it. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Uh, if you guys remember King Rolodex, uh, and he lost, he only got like 111 votes or something. So ever since then, he's kind of been having a mini meltdown on TikTok and, inst- and like social media and sharing all these like really sad TikToks. I kind of find them adorable, weirdly enough. I know the guy's done some really fucked up shit and he's very problematic, but I don't know. I kind of, it's kind of sad to see this like grown man having this like tantrum, like a little child. So here he's talking about like the results and them being fake. إنه اليوم مين بيصدقهم إنه في انتخابات مزبوطة بلبنان؟ أنا جايب ميت سو؟ No way. حدا بيصدق؟ أنا ما. ما حدا بكل لبنان بيصدق. بس قريبا في مفاجأة كبيرة وأنا بدي فرجيهم كيف بيصير الألعاب عشان أنا رب الألعاب. Sounds like a threat. It sounds uh, 
It sounds serious. Hone is talking kif ta'amuna darb. Kif ta'amuna darb, King Rolo. Shu ta'amukun darb. Shu khabes mafi baad al indi khabet. It's funny as if as a tala who can I see fibers with the figure herb. Look, and I believe that under the reign of, of King Rolodex, Beirut Tatania would have shined like never before. Khibiz, benzene, kahraba. Shu. Shu. Naimin bela kahraba. Eh. Why don't know where Bish did? Mahada minnu rabi shufkun. Yassin, Yassin, behind the Islamic State, and the Shari. I kind of feel like he doesn't know if system or parliament is, and I wish I had food. Chibiz. Gahraba, who killed Yes, Chibiz. لا بس عن جد انا كان ما كنت عارف انه سنتيا زرازير عندها تاتو عون على رقبتها يعني كمان يعني هيز رايت نو كينج رول وي didn't know what we had when he was there, you know. هون I like this one. هون he's got a stack of cash, baby. Donated to the podcast. شرفك سكرنا البنك لا لا just one more صار في نواب جداد ما حدا تيجي لعندي ويبكي روحوا لعندهم روحوا لعندهم روحوا لعندهم ليك نو هيز فروم نورذرن فيرجينيا هيز فروم نو بس لايك سيت وير واز لايك فيرفاكس او واز ات فيرفاكس او لايك فالس تشيرش بتذكر من اي ثينك فيرفاكس مطرح ما انت اي ليف ذير برو كينج رولو ما مان Become a patron, Khayy. Become a patron. Nahna, I guarantee you, for the next four years, if all I, if I talk about you every week, you will get more than 111 votes. Next election. Hey, day. Yani, I'm not a scout, but no scouts promise. What are they called? Scouts promise or whatever. Parole d'honneur. Hone uh, another one. He's holding dollars on Biza Alna. What I think. Sheikh Haida, hold the libide. Mish mitl kon, musriyel kon bil bank. Roland. Could be a sex worker behind him. We don't know. Roland. Could be a sex worker. Wait, let me just hear what he said again. Let me play it again. Sheikh Haida, all the libi ide. Mish mitl kon, musriyel kon bil bank. Roland. Roland. Fin web jdeed. Mish web jnoom. He hangs out with a lot of. Sex workers is what I can say. I know when we were talking about him last time, he was doing the Miss Universe or whatever. Miss yeah. was a pageant. They were definitely sex workers. I know someone who worked at a hotel where there was a lot of sex workers that would show up. He was a VIP customer there, uh, King Rolo. So, hey, no, I'm not shaming you, bro. I got no problem with you. Do you, my man? You have fun as long as everybody's being paid and is consented. You know, you know what I mean, my uh, my Anyways, that's King Rolo Dex. Uh, that is his meltdown. Uh, and uh, become a patron, King Rolo. Good luck. Next election, 200 votes, bare minimum. That's the Anthony guarantee. Okay, folks, this is, this is the main topic of the week. Honestly, I don't even know how to start this because there's just so much to talk about. I don't even know where to begin. We'll start, I guess, uh, at what happened. Uh, Jad uh, Ardakani, young TikToker, young man, is on Instagram, he's on YouTube, uh, has a new podcast called Unjaded, the Unjaded Podcast. Now, I remember a few months ago, maybe even a year ago, I can't remember, like, Jad actually reached out to me on, on Instagram, just sent, like, a DM, like, hey, dude, huge fan of the podcast, I've always wanted to start my own show, like, love your stuff, I hope I can do what you're doing one day. I was like, damn, like, such a sweet message, such a, like... That's, that was a very kind message. I checked out his profile. I'm like, damn, he's got a lot of like followers on Instagram. I saw that he had a YouTube link. I checked that out. He had 70,000 subscribers on YouTube. I was like, why are you asking me for tips and shit? I should be asking you for help, Jad. How do I get 70,000 subscribers, bro? So I was like, damn, like what a nice kid. You know what I mean? He's got this huge audience and he's like being he's like, hey, I'd love, I'd love to ask you for advice one day. And I'm like, dude, whatever you want, whatever you need. So a few weeks ago, he reaches back out and he's like, yo, I'm doing a podcast. It's called Unjaded. It's all this sort of stuff. I'm excited. I'm like, congratulations. That's awesome, my man. All the support from me. Watched his first episode. He even gave us a shout out. He's like, I watch that show a lot, uh, etc. So, hey, I'm, more, I'm very happy. Please, everybody, check out 
uh, Jad's uh, YouTube channel. Subscribe. Check out the first episode of his podcast. The second episode of his podcast, though, Jad had on a guest. So his first episode was a solo episode. Then he decided to, he's, it's going to become a guest-based show. So every two weeks, he's going to have a new guest. Uh, his first guest was Tufi Luke. Now, we're not here to hate on Jad at all. Belakis, I want to encourage the guy. He's a lovely young guy, super talented. Ambidros Medicine, he's going to be a doctor. He's healthy. He works out. He's a, like a perfect young man. He's too perfect. He reminds me of Dr. Mike, who was just at the creator class. Shout out, iDubs. So his first, I found that weird. I'll be, and I even left a comment on Jad's video being like, I don't think that was the right first guest for you to have. A, as if he's a fan of our show. I find like, how can you be a fan of Do Not Worry and be a fan of Tufi Luke? I, I think these are two things that, you know, are mutually exclusive. You can't, you can't, you have to pick sides in this case. And every subscriber to our channel, I call them a Do Not Warrior because we do battle every day on this podcast. We do war, okay? Our subscribers get out there on that battlefield and we take out the influencer class. So Tufi Luke is the Joker to my Batman. He is the Green Goblin to my Peter Parker. He is the Keemstar to my Ethan Klein. Tufi Luke is this show's number one enemy. So I do find it very strange to bring him on as a guest, and especially Jad has this big audience. He has this big subscriber base. You just gave a massive asshole, a racist, misogynist, a harasser, a platform to kind of clean up his image, bro. And that is disappointing. And I hope everyone who watched your podcast watches this episode so I can kind of clean up the little mess you made. No offense, you're a young podcaster. You're going to grow into a great podcaster. And you might disagree with everything I say. If you ask Jad, you'll be like, you know what? I He's a controversial guest. I want him to come up here and like, sh you know, give his opinion. And I want to see the best side of, of people. Honestly, I've been working for like a year and a half to... Look, Tufi Luke dominates almost every social media platform he goes on. He's, he's, on, he's huge on Instagram. He's huge on TikTok. He, has, he doesn't have a very big presence on YouTube. You want to know why? It's because of this show. He had a YouTube channel, and he dropped a few videos on it. And they did pretty well. Best, write up, go on YouTube right now and write, up, write Tufi Luke on your YouTube search. See what comes up. You're going to get his El Jadid interview. You're going to get a couple of his videos. Then you're going to get every single video I've made about Tufi Luke. I have single-handedly driven that motherfucker off of this platform, and I will be damned if he tries to come back or tries to have someone clean up his image and pretend that he's this nice anti-bullying, anti-harassment, anti shuma betkon. So Jad, I, I, I commend you for trying to bring on uh, a controversial guest, try to create like this inter an interesting topic, but Tufi Luke is not the guy, my friend. That guy has had his, his chance and he has been exposed many times to be, again, a racist, sexist, misogynist. I have some fucked up stories about this guy. And then what I do love about the interview, and this is where Jad gets a lot of points and a lot of respect, he asked him about me. And you can tell, we're going to watch a bunch of clips. I've cut up a bunch of clips. Buckle up, folks. Okay, this is going to be a long one. I got a lot of clips, but you can tell Jad is like nervous when he's asking about me and he's like, but he did it. And Tufi Luke just pretended not to know me. We're going to get to that. We, there's a lot of things to break down in this interview, but that is it in a nutshell. I saw an interview that I was like, you know what? This needs correcting because I've, I've honestly worked too hard to reveal who Tufi Luke really is to just have him sit on a podcast and be like, yep, actually, no, 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 no. It ain't going to go down that easily, boy. By boy, I mean Tufi Luke. So, uh... I have one job today, basically. One, one mission statement, I guess. Tufi Luke said that he doesn't know who I am. When asked, he was like, I don't know who that is. Send me a link. I'd love to, to check it out. Tufi Luke claims he doesn't know me. My goal today is to prove that he does. How? By pro providing you guys with evidence. You, my viewers, the jury. I'm going to be giving you audio evidence, photographic evidence, Texts proving that Tufi Luke knows exactly who the fuck I am and that he thinks about me probably every day. Hey, Tufi Luke, how's it going, baby? So without further ado, let's get into the interview 
And we will leave the final part, which is him denying knowing who I am. We're going to leave that till the end. And then we're going to get into the evidence. Juicy evidence, folks. And this podcast, this is going to make things uncomfortable for a lot of people. Okay? I've buried my beef with Tufiluk. I already did an episode about Tufiluk a year ago. It was episode five of the podcast. It's one of the most viewed episodes we have. It's called Tufiluk, Lebanon's Biggest Bully. Watch it if you haven't. It covers a lot that I'm not going to go over again. We have examples of, of harassment, of, of, of lying, of, of sexism, racism, shumabetkun, body shaming. We have it all. The first clip we're going to look at is just funny. I remember when a few episodes ago, a couple of months ago, we talked about how Tufiluk, Tufiluk has been looking for a job and he made his search for a job like very public and on LinkedIn and sharing stuff on LinkedIn. He, he announced just a couple of months ago that he had gotten a job on Shutterstock. Well, he, just, he left it. Here's, let's, let's watch this quick clip. Well, how's your work now? What are you um, working as a, for people who don't know my uh, I was a digital consultant for Shutterstock. Mm-hmm. I was helping uh, big companies curate content for them. So it was very wow. closely related to, to Tufi <laughs> Um I actually got the job because of Tufi Luke. It was more, I was bragging about it. <laughs> I'm moving jobs at the moment. I actually left Shutterstock this month due to personal reasons. Mm. There was clashes happening okay. internally. What kind of clashes are happening internally with Shutterstock? You've been there for... For like a month, bro. Translation, he got fired, bro. They, he definitely got they fired. F- <laughs> they fired your obnoxious ass, bro. By the way, I was to the fire. Fucking sit like this so the guy can have fucking clean audio for his fucking podcast. If you ever run into Tufiluk in the street, you know what I mean? You're wondering, hey, I want to take a selfie with him. I'm a fan of Tufiluk. Here is his, here's what Tufiluk said about taking pictures with fans in the street. Uh, I start, I... I usually don't take pictures with anyone because you don't need to take a picture with me. Manette and say, with me, Lily and say, Manette 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 and you got to a point where, uh, where, في لا تحكي كتير ناس بتتأسي. صح. ما عند الشكل بتتأسي. ليك مين عم بيحكي لك ليك مين عم بيحكي العالم بدها تأسي. أولا, do you have you guys heard of resting bitch face? Bro, this guy is if someone looks up resting bitch face, لازم حطوا له وجهه لتفلق. ما بيقول شيء غير شكله إرفين. إم إيه ول. Anna, bro, by the way, I love nothing more. I feel so honored when someone walks up to me and asks to take a fucking picture. I'm like humbled. I'm like, bro, who the fuck am I? Where are you like, I want to take a picture with you. It is, I am so honored and humbled. I don't even know what to say when people walk up and like say hello. We love your show. I panic, bro. I'm like, oh shit. Thank you so much. Sometimes I'm, I forget to answer. This guy's like, what the screenshot, Bro, if you see me, you want to take a photo, it would be my honor. It would make me so happy. I love nothing more than meeting fans in the street. It makes me, I'm, I feel just humble and happy and in disbelief like someone actually gives a shit about this little fucking show that we do. Um, I have a couple of things to say. Go. Anna, I, I haven't seen the podcast yet. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to, but like, hala, I'm so mind blown. I keep on like, like, this is amazing. Like, I have, Ooh, the, yeah, I, the ego is is oozing out of him mm-hmm. but then i kind of feel like and no, no fans come up to him and want to take a picture with him <laughs> because he's had bad experiences he's insecure about yeah, that because i know if he, a picture of joseph shada ma tufiluk a fan picture <laughs> that's true we have a video of tufiluk ma joseph shada have his eminent but we're gonna we're not gonna hold anything against joseph no i'm shada. not holding we anything against anyone but like i know I kind of feel like most of his followers, mostly because they make fun of him, not because they actually... Hey, because who, dude, mo- most people fucking hate Tufiluk, bro. Well, it's the biggest audience in Saudi. Let's see how long that's going to last, bro. Um, here is a moment where he uh, he's making fun of... This was in the Miriam Klink conversation. He, he makes fun of her menopause. Again, he's an anti-bully guy. And the harassment. And before, he was talking about, the world loves you. You love you just said you're not homophobic. How can you just contradict yourself in one sentence? Like, it's okay to be 50 and menopausal. Move on. Menopausal. <sighs> Bombs exploding. 
the Jad. Jad is just happy, like, yeah, I'm getting some drama. Jad is like, good content. Jad is content. like, hell yeah, baby. Yalla, yalla, bad. Kill Bashra. And to be fair, oh, she made him think it's so fucking good, but she's such a bitch. Dude, what she did was horrible. When she uh, was blackmailing him, she's like, I have a video of you sucking a guy's dick. I was like, I'm against no, that. Okay, other stories coming about Anya Khan. Doesn't it? matter. She, what she did was fucked up, but no matter. She like, no, man, menopausal man no, you like, can't no. say you're not a bully that two seconds later she's made she's homophobic hey you're menopausal man whatever the shoe what, 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 what about something like menopause it's like i know like many people are sensitive on about your period this. into habil like mm. <laughs> that makes no sense there was another part where two filu can be khabir that uh, he was very overweight when he was in school uh and then uh, he became anorexic I'm not making fun of being overweight while being anorexic well let's listen to just a, a snippet of that so I started losing weight. Amazing. The problem is I didn't know how to say stop. Yes. So I went to anorexia. Wow. Yeah. It was pretty much disgusting as well. Do you remember what was like the highest weight and the lowest weight that you Highest took? weight, 132 kilograms. Lowest weight, 58. Okay. But I was a meter and 94. So just... I have nothing to add to this except you know, he's been through some weight things. Well, it's funny because a lot of his TikToks, a lot of his Instagrams, a lot of his videos make fun of people's weight, specifically women's weight. I have tons of examples. These are all old. These are not, I did a montage, guys, a year and a half ago. We're going to put a link. Watch the old montage. Um, let me just play one quick one. Khabrina Sufi! Khabrina Sufi, ya ikhti Khabrina! Hassayn ik zaleni! Ya islih ik! الظلم ليحيك كل يوم عزا معيك لابسك اليوم أسود فسري لنا شو فيه بعدين تقولي لنا أن الأسود بداعيف ما عند البرميل أنت لابسة أسود أو مش لابسة أسود حتضلك برميل حتضلك مثل ما أنت اسمع منك ببيلي كم لون He's the guy who's talking about bullying and anorexia and being overweight like this is what I mean, Jad, when it's like, I don't understand how anyone would give this guy a platform to preach about anything. So there's tons more of these videos, tons. This is just one little example that I just, you know what I mean? Just kind of had to quickly share. I don't want to go over these videos again, because again, we did that a year and a half ago. This was, we buried this story. We buried this topic. Tufilu just had to dig it back up from the ground, didn't he? Uh, now, here's another clip from, uh, from his interview where... Uh, he basically, this is before Jad asks him about me, okay? Only he basically talks about me, okay? He's talking about Miriam Klink, and then at one point, a bunch of fans of Tufiluk, little fans, started writing fake sexual harassment stories, and Tufiluk sexually harassed them. His own fans. So he invites one of the kids that did it on his Instagram live, will be Bahadlo, no kif amel tehek fi, Antonio, 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 by the way, who's a fan of the show. How's it going, Anthony? I hope Patricia, the friend of your grandma, is doing well. Only true fans of the show will get that reference. So here's, he's talking about a guy who was defending the boy, who was me, Min Gaide. And I remember there was another um, a guy who came out and was like, how can you attack a kid? I'm going to attack whoever fucking attacks he's looking me. looking at me, huh? Is that kid or not a kid? Okay? 100%. Okay? 100%. As much as I, the Jean Moore kicked me out of their school because I had, was a kid it's just reciprocity mm-hmm. so just so you know ma o shu bas shu sa'il yani iza bshu next time shu fuck obnoxious tani mara bshu fuck bitariqo fi lugu hayt alla rah ta'amik khali bro man tiza bi tamak straight up like human fucking centipede style straight from my ass into your fucking mouth ma at alo bro what was he the fuck was he saying i don't even remember what he was saying oh reciprocity well, I, I was talking about how he got kicked out of jamhur because someone sent me a dm someone who went to school with him they told me how much of an asshole he was in school why he got kicked out so he's, he's talking about me he's like hey. at one point he's like there's another he was gonna say other podcaster then what of was like there's a guy then jad asks to Filuk, before we're gonna get to my part jad asks to Filuk if there are any instagram or online accounts that he hates Tufiluk uh, talks about Lama, right? Kind of went all out. Let's see what Tufiluk had to say about Lama. Now, three creators that you despise, and as I shifted a piece of content video to the FYP or on Insta, it's bizarre that I'm like, what are you? Bizarre, I think. Uh, 
irrelevant. Mm. I mean, it's time to evolve. Mm. Mm-hmm. The first one, I think he said Yimkin Nikat Lebanese. I'm not sure. I don't care. The second one, he clearly says Al Ama. Now let's see what they, they say about him. Wait, I think you blew up at the comment commentary videos. Uh, they were funny at the Lama. time. But Belke, maybe he should try to. I haven't actually. He's not even on TikTok. Like I think when you're not in TikTok in this day and age, I think you're losing out on a big audience. Yeah. Nobody. Maybe he should maybe rebrand on TikTok. Sa- Ali or Sam changing and I. No comment. It's so irrelevant and it's really sad. No, no, no. Re- okay. Just that. Okay. Good I'm gonna luck, bro. I'm gonna replay the part where he says here. Buddy, maybe he should maybe rebrand on TikTok or start maybe changing and I. No comment. It's so irrelevant and it's really sad. Okay. Just that. Okay. Good luck, bro. So we criticize a lot of people on this podcast. It's very rarely we're joking around. We're having fun. It's never like personal. He's like, he wants to hurt him. Like, it's just sad and irrelevant. Good luck, bro. It, this is personal. He's got personal beef with him, and he's just being a fucking asshole. You know, Anna, I'm not a huge fan of Alama's content. I think he's a nice guy. Right? He's always been a good guy to me. I'll be the first one to criticize his comment. We've criticized a lot of it here on this show. But maybe I'm trying to start a little bit of beef between them. Hey, who knows? Lama, this is what the guy's saying about you. You might agree with what Tufiluk is saying. But he's so cruel. He's so mean. Literally, I'm be kib sem. It's just my body. And I hate this. I'm not defending Alama's comment. This is for, it's for Alama to defend himself here. I'm just, I'm just watching this drama unfold. Okay, leave me out of this. I'm, I'm dealing with too much as it is. No, the way, the way he expresses his opinion, his opinion is valid. Bro, ma bien ta. The way he says it, no. Man he's, filtered, he's, abadan. he's salty. Yeah, he's not and filtered at all. It, it, just say it. Eat like, it then. It's, it's unnecessary. Okay. Even like, I get it, if he's doing his Tufiluk character for his TikTok swig, he can't say, like, honey, bro, you're in a podcast. This is your chance to be yourself. Be actually, natural. No, it is himself. La, la, this is him. This la, is la, Tufiluk. No, actually, I think this is another persona because I feel like La Antara podcast, so like he's going to talk, like he's trying to be very deep and opinionated. Like, I feel he's trying too hard. He's trying super. Let's see how hard he tries to dodge the Anthony question. Let's 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 stop dancing around the fun stuff. Let's get to the good stuff, folks. Jad drops the bombshell and asks Tufiluk what he thinks of me. This is a minute clip because it extends. We're gonna watch the whole thing and we're gonna give some commentary as it goes. Hello, I remember that Anthony Sargon. He has a podcast. Come in. I always like post like shift another montage of the show to Filuk stuff. You know, he Salah I and I and I like his content. I like it. His videos work, but like sometimes I feel like it's really like critiquing people. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, uh, do not worry. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Anyone else off the top of your mind? I have no clue who that guy is. Okay. Why? What does he do? Uh, I think he has like a podcast. He talks about me. Bro, you're so overdoing it. You could have just been like, oh, I don't know the guy. Or honestly, if I were you and I had a fucking pair of balls, I'd be like, yeah, I know that guy. Fuck him. I would have respected you so fucking much if you just looked at the camera and like, yeah, I know that guy. Fuck him. He does nothing else than fucking release videos about me. You could have just fucking said that, dude, and I would have fucking respected you. I would have fucking cheered you on. But instead, you, you could have just said, no, no, who's that? Then Jad is trying to move on. He's like, I don't, I've never heard of him. What does he do? He's like, you're overdoing it, bro. I have audio notes, you stupid fuck. You stupid fucker. Oh my God, you're so fucking dumb. Uh, yeah, like, uh, I don't know. He said that you're a bully or something like that. I am a bully. I am a bully. You're looking at me, huh? Maybe you'll see that. Uh, move on. I moved on. Yeah. Uh, eat a damn. I agree. <laughs> I love how you just embrace it. That's why they, why, I love fun. it. Yeah. Am I a bully? No, I'm not a bully. I'm a critiquer. Critiquer. And if there was nothing to critique, then there was nothing to critique. I'm not saying I'm... Why are you looking at the camera if you don't know who I am? Why are you so pressed? Why are you looking straight into the camera? Why are you looking straight into my eyes, you motherfucker? Yeah, this is very personal. Why are you looking at the camera? So you don't know who I am. Why are you so upset, buddy? 
Relax. Who's this guy? You oh, feel a conversation by Netcon one on one on camera. Bro, I'm telling you, it's gonna end with shit in his mouth. <laughs> when you're watching me now and you're saying what the <laughs> is this guy talking about? Mm. <laughs> you lie to me. You're gonna be there on your screen and be like, Ugh, that's fun, that's fun. I want it to. Which show? Show on the good. Khalid, you're like, 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 you're we're all all of you are fucking a critic here. Look, bro, my ass, I like, bro, keep I like, mother, but who can I if I have a son that's like you, bro, I'll put you in a fucking bag with a bunch of fucking rocks in it and I'll fucking dump you in a lake. Just out there watching and giving our opinion doesn't mean that we're all bullying and mean, but uh, I don't know who this guy is. I think um, people feel entitled and we are on what you want to do with your content. La, hey, as I'm sure about the channel, just change the channel. La, la, Jad, don't throw me under the bus. La, 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 Jad, he. Like, I think he's nervous. Jad fit for you. Jad he, fit for you. He is nervous. So I think like he's too sweet of a person that I know. Like, la, we're gonna. La, you're simping. We're gonna la, give la, him la. the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Did you I see wanna... one of the shirtless pictures? Is that what's happening? <laughs> no, no. Belakis, خلوني كيف. Tell us he's nervous. Well, I his first guest. No, uh, I wanna um, tell him. Book. Like Jad, if you're hearing this, like I just wanna say. Oh, I'm... he's hearing this. He's just hearing stick, this, but just look. stick to. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Just stick to your own opinions, cause I'm sure this is not what he thinks. Like I'm so sure, and he's a he's a decent person. He, he's we love Jad. He's a great person, man. Of course, we love him. Like, 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 don't agree with him. Like, don't try to side with him. Like, fuck it. Let's continue this. Let's see. Hone is like. Hello. Uh, bye bye. See. Uh, okay. I wish him all the good luck. I might, yeah, I might send it to me on uh, on his on WhatsApp. I'll give, I gave him a look. He has potential to do like great. Thank content. you. You're gonna give, he's gonna give it a look, guys. He's gonna give it a chance. Great. Because he's never Hi done to it before. Felix. Hi, welcome <laughs> to the channel. Because he's never done it before, has he? What's and that is outside. I mean, I have no clue what you're talking about. Let's change subject because if I had, okay. I could give my opinion. Okay. <laughs> the, who is someone you want to collab with? Let's change the subject. Change the subject. I love that Jad tried to press him. Hey, I like he's does trying to do different. Let's change the subject, bro. We're done. So this is what Tufiluk said. Tufiluk doesn't know me. I guess I lied. So guys, now that we've set, we've done all of this setup, a lot of setup. I'm sorry. This is, might be a little long episode. You guys want to get to the evidence? You guys want to get to the proof? Please. We're going to start with the biggest piece of proof, actually, because I got to start the story chronologically. Anna Keith, how did I get on Tufi Luke's radar? Episode two of the podcast, so 54 episodes ago, I broke down a poll that Noor Hajar, Lebanese stand-up comedian who we love, we're all huge fans of Noor Hajar on the show. Uh, he did a poll on his Instagram like fucking two years ago, bro. We're talking a long time ago. Who are your least favorite Instagram accounts? People voted. His followers voted. Tell all the results. Gino Raide, who's a patron. We love you, Gino. Uh, Lama, Paul Alexandra, Political Pen, and Tufiluk. I was like, you know what? That could be an interesting topic to talk about on the podcast. You know, the five most hated Instagram accounts according to Noor Hajar's uh, Instagram. I'm like, I'll talk about it, which I did. Let's watch what I said about Tufiluk. Let's watch what I said. Let's see how mean it was, okay? Here's what I said about Tufiluk a fucking year and a half ago, episode two. I'm going to start with Tufiluk. Tufiluk. Um, hugely popular on Instagram. I, I totally get why he would be voted as one of the most hated ones. I do not like his brand of comedy. Not everyone has to, but it does seem to be a little bit obnoxious for my taste. Is he like that in real life? I don't think so. I mean, most likely everyone puts, you know, plays up their character on social media. And there's a guy that I really like called Tony Kanan. You all most likely know him. He's huge on Instagram. He hangs out with him. Like I see it on Instagram. So if Tony likes him, I'm guessing he's not that bad. But I totally get this one, so uh, I'm not going to really argue it much. Folks, these 36 seconds, that's all I said about Tufi Luke. That was nice. It was I haven't seen this before. This was one year ago. <laughs> it was not that bad. That this, there was two things so here innocent. that at first I got to clarify some things. Uh, Tony Kanaan didn't hang out with Tufi Luke that much. He had just done a couple of videos with him on Instagram. And I had assumed that they were friends. I'm like, yeah, he hangs out with him. That's not accurate. Tony Kanan is not very close with Tufi Luke. At least I'll clarify that. Maybe not anymore. Uh, and this statement also really pissed off Tufi Luke. Now, how do you know? Because I have a fucking voice note, you stupid fuck. So here's what Tufi Luke, after seeing this clip, 
decides to send Nur Hajar, who we love, and I'm sorry for, for releasing this, Nur. I'm so sorry for dragging you back into this. And Tony, I'm sorry for even mentioning your name. But th th this needs to be done, folks. So this is what Tufiluk sends to Nur Hajar. Tufiluk, who's never heard of me and who's never seen my show. This is what he told Nur Hajar over a year ago. And no. البول تبعك اللي عملته في واحد كتير بيشبه لويجي عامل بودكاست اوبسلي اتس ا فلوب ثلاث اشخاص حضروا البودكاست وانا حضرته لانه حدا بعت لي من هالثلاث اشخاص اللي حضروا البودكاست واستعمل البول تبعك اللي انت منك اصلا مرجعي تا يقول انه انا ام ذا موست هيتد اكاونت ان لبنان فايري فيك وفي You guys just heard two filuk Oh shit, this is drama. The okay. fucking insecurity. You guys just heard Tufiluk talk about me, my podcast, uh, saying that I look like an ugly version of Luigi, that no one, by the way, my second, my first episode had like 2,000 views, which is shocking for a channel that had 200 subscribers, bro. I'm very proud of, even if I had three viewers, I'm fucking proud of every viewer that we have. You fucking little petty piece of shit. And then he says, There's more to this voice note, folks. There's a second part that I, I'm not going to release because it implicates other people. So, I've been sitting on this for over a year. I've been, you know how much I've wanted to release this to Filuk and the other part? Maybe in a year we release the other part. You know how, how long I've been sitting on this, keeping quiet, you little piece of shit? You could have just said you knew me. You could have said, I know him, fuck him. I would have been okay with it. But you have to go out there denying, oh, send me a link. I'll check it out. I don't know him. Motherfucker, what the, explain that. So we got, are you guys convinced? I, I kind of wanted to save the, this audio till the end, but this is the start of the story. This is my first exposure to Tufiluk. So I'm like, oh shit, this guy's a fucking psychotic asshole. Again, Nur, I'm so sorry for bringing this up. We love Nur Hajar, we fucking worship him. He is the funniest or one of the funniest stand-up comedians we live in. Just launched a new show on YouTube called Thick Beast. He sits there and plays video games with a bunch of like influencers I'm and celebrities. It's fucking it's great. It's so nice. It's I love awesome. The, I we love, love the one with Sasha. Like, we yeah. love Noor. Okay, we love Noor. And thank you for, for sending me this when you did like two years ago. And I'm sorry for digging it up and bringing it out and, and putting you in any awkward position, man. I'm so... In terms, apologize to Noor. Apologize to me. We're so sorry. We absolutely love We're you. We're very sorry, Anthony. <laughs> We're, uh, I'm a huge fan. Thank you. Great. Hello, <laughs> Kevin. There's Kamina. Don't forget. Two weeks ago, we released an episode. I literally ran into Tufiluk Bimaram Khayil. We walked right past each other, locked eyes, smiled at each other. You smiled at me, you little piece of shit. So uh, I don't have any proof. Muscle. I didn't take a picture of him. He didn't take a picture of me. I can't I, prove it to you. I thought that was a happy ending. Me too. Me too. And guys, Anna. <laughs> We said that we were gonna, like, I said I was done with the Tufiluk topic a long time ago. And we were, but no, two weeks ago, I literally saw him in the street. I had to talk about it. Then a week ago, he got fucking beaten up in London by a bunch of Aouni. Like, how am I not gonna talk about these things? You know what I mean? Hala, you're asking for it. So, um, some more evidence. What can, I, what can I show to prove? Well, I have a series of messages, folks. So, after the poll, and after, the, after he got mad by the poll, Honey, he got into the medium clink situation. He was being accused of sexual harassment or something. So Anna shifted on Twitter and I quote tweeted him being like, yeah, some, I don't remember what I said. I was like, yeah, you're, you're a harasser. You need to be taken off the streets. Takes a screenshot of that and he sends a message to someone who I'm not going to name. Tufiluk is going to know who this message went to. But uh, you, I'm not going to tell you guys who it is. And Tufiluk, if you think of reaching out to the person, bro, so You will speak with that shit or I will deal with him personally. And this, I will go out for blood. Tufiluk's fucking talking about me, saying he's gonna go out for blood, okay? He will apologize and he will beg for my pardon. Be aware. He says he will apologize and he will beg for my pardon. This was before I released my video about him, episode 5, which you should all watch again. Please, it has all the stories, all the proof. Uh, he was freaking the By fuck the way, out. By the way, this episode, I'm going to this episode, we're a fan of the show. But, uh, no, it's, the best, it's one of the best episodes. Make sure to watch awesome. it. So he's literally threatening me here, threatening violence. I will deal with him personally. I will go out for blood. He will apologize and beg for my pardon. Bro, he was such a little bitch when that episode came out. He literally blocked me on all social media. He literally denies knowing me when someone asks him. So like he didn't do shit. He was barking, all bark and no bite. 
Seriously, like the, the, the expression we learned as kids, barking dogs seldom bite, hey, that's for you. He doesn't do shit. He ate shit after that fucking episode. And Masman Ahisubu just blocked me. That's all he fucking did. Because he knows if he talks about me, he's only going to bring attention to my videos. If he ever mentions me, if he had told Jad, yeah, I know this guy, what is everyone going to do? They're going to fucking Google my name and Google my episodes, and he's going to expose himself. This is why he's, he's staying away from YouTube. Because anytime he does a video, he's just going to make people watch my videos about him. He's fucked on YouTube. Raja YouTube. Release some fucking videos. Have some fun. Let's see what's going to happen then. That's cool. So we have audio recordings and we have text messages about Tufi Luke threatening me. You want more? When we released the episode a year and a half ago, on that same day, a viewer sent me this picture on Instagram. This was a screenshot of a story that Tufi Luke posted on his own stories. Here you see Tufi Luke posting a story. There's someone called, I think, Yasmina or something. Yas relating to today's video. She's taking a nap. Great. It's just a girl on the couch. Wait, what's that? Is that glass? Is that? Oh, look, there's a reflection in the glass. What is that? Oh, look, it's my podcast. Tufi Luke literally put a picture up on Instagram that showed him watching my show. You fucking idiot. Then you go like, I don't know who he is. Whoa, who the fuck is that? This is it, folks. This is, these are three, I think, damning and conclusive pieces of evidence that Tufi Luke is fucking lying. Okay? Guys, I don't have a big ego. I'm not upset because Tufi Luke is like, you know, that I think I'm famous enough for people to know me. It's not at all about that. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, I'm shocked anyone... Anytime anyone walks up to me and asks for a picture or tells me that they're a fan, I'm like, you watch my show? But Stufi Luke knows exactly who I am. And he could have taken this opportunity to put this to bed. He could have fucking been honest, man. So now, on top of being a misogynist, sexist, racist, you're also a fucking liar, bro. And this is why, Jad, you shouldn't have people on, like that on your show because he's a fucking liar. And you can't believe any fucking thing he says. I love that we have all this proof. I've been sitting on these messages, on these on these audio uh, notes for like a fucking year, man, over a year. I never wanted to release them because I didn't want to implicate anyone else. But it's Eidefik, bro. La Eide. What the fuck are you going to do about this? Like, you're going to get... And like, hella, he painted himself in an even bigger corner because it's like, he's never going to admit that he lied now. But see, yeah, I guess let's send him a link. So, look, Shukhmar, oh my, you're such a fucking dumbass. Thank you, Jad, for asking him that question, for just giving me this opportunity to just show, show the stuff that I've been sitting on. Tufi Luke, you're a fucking dumbass. You guys have anything to add? I'm repeating myself. Um, yeah, maybe Lajad, instead of you saying, I know, la, don't have people like that, maybe do have people like that, but it's like, fucking khana and Jad. Like, ah. And I'm glad that episode exists. You gifted us this episode, so thank you. <laughs> I mean, I think that's it. We've looked at everything. Uh, we've looked at his interview. I Honestly, I don't want to talk about this guy. It's never a choice to talk about Tufi Luke, okay? But like I said, he's the joker to my Batman. Sometimes I feel like I'm incomplete without him. I need to know that he's out there somewhere being an asshole, harassing someone, just being a fucking dick. Jury, my viewers, please let us know what you think. Do you believe me or do you believe Tufi Luke? I've given you, I've presented the evidence that I have. I hope it is enough to convince you. Tufi Luke, you lying sack of shit. I'm telling you, man, next time I see you, get that mouthwash ready, bro. It's going to be tasting like shit for a long time. <laughs> Folks, that was it for a dramatic, dramatic doozy of an episode. Uh, Tufi Luke, remember, buddy, don't be lying no more, okay? Khalas, we now have evidence. Be honest, bro, okay? Stop being such a little bitch. And I told you, next time I see you, okay? Straight from the source. Straight from the fucking source. Uh like to take a second to thank, once again, our new blonde patrons, Karim Haber, Leonardo Sawaya, Tare Tammo. We love you guys, literally. Especially Tare, he's been following and tweeting and messaging and commenting all the time. So, Tare, welcome to the family. We love having you here. Chris Habib, thank you so much for being a superhero patron. A couple other superhero patrons, like 69 Monkeys, Joey To, Joey Dabul, Tare Jammo, Eli Tawil. We love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, Heather Jabber, Jabber, Heather Jabber, Firas Abu Fakhir. Daniel Habib, Gino Raide, Joseph Sarkis, Rudolf Nurjabur. Thank you guys for the support. If you guys want to support us on Patreon, please check the link in the description. Uh, like the video. Leave a comment. What do you think? Do you believe my evidence? Do you believe Tufi Luke? I highly doubt it. I, got, I came with receipts, folks. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And as usual, do not worry.
Thank you.